Live from the Sands Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's The Cube at AWS reInvent 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsors Amazon and Trend Micro. Welcome back everyone. We're live here in Las Vegas for Amazon Web Services reInvent. This is our second year here doing the broadcast. Where we're expecting to see them from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of Silicon Angles, The Cube. We expect to see them from the noise and boy, there's a lot of noise out there in this market, but right now Amazon is kicking ass, taking names. As we said last year, we're doing fantastic. One of the most exciting news breaking out here. There's a lot of news going down. There's a lot more coming tonight. I'm under embargo on the big news. But the big news today, one of the big pieces was that GitHub is really providing a seamless, awesome way to take their great service and offer it out to developers of the cloud. Our next guest is Brian Dahl, who's the uh, VP of Strategy for GitHub. Um, we're a customer, um, we love GitHub, everyone does. You have a great product. I'm glad Welcome to hear to it. Cube. Thanks so much. So Amazon has been um, really a really amazing thing for developers. I mean, anyone who's done any startup or has very little cash, yeah. will won't provision their own data center. But now going to the next level yep. with Amazon, share with us folks the news, and what does this mean? Because I use GitHub, we use GitHub at CrowdChat, we love it, and then like, but what is this difference? Is this for big enterprises? What changes, what's different? Yeah, sure, so you know, GitHub is, is about seven years old now, uh, and a few years ago we launched this GitHub Enterprise products, and I think for the longest time, enterprise meant on-premise. Those were sort of synonymous delivery mechanisms. And as we talked to our biggest customers, what we really understood is that enterprise software doesn't have to mean on-premise anymore. You know, it's 2014, I think a lot of companies are realizing that uh, data isolation and authentication services are really what they're looking for. Uh, and you can get that with an AWS delivery platform. And so for us, uh, as of today, customers will be able to install GitHub Enterprise uh, on Amazon and be able to run that so they've got their own private GitHub community within their company on AWS. So what's the big announcement today? Because when I hear enterprise software, I think of workflows, workbenches, you know, methodologies, sure. meetings. Yeah. You know. <laughs> How about no meetings? Yeah. <laughs> meetings after meetings. I mean, you know, wait a minute, where's the code? Who's got what? Someone quit, new people come in. Exactly. I mean, it's a workflow issue. You guys have done pretty well with that. So what's the what is what's new in this new announcement here with Amazon? Yeah, so I think the big thing is that certainly, you know, scalability, uh, HANDR, is much improved on that platform, uh, as well as a lot of the security features. I think half of what enterprises are looking for is being able to use their own internal authorization systems. So LDAP and SAML support is really upgraded in this release. Uh, we've got a lot of new features. Everything we ported over from the GitHub.com experience is there. So I think companies are really looking to grow their presence and have more people collaborating on GitHub together in one place, and AWS is a great place for that. So what's the... Uh What's the status of GitHub? Give us a quick numbers. Employees, yeah. offices, and all the above. Yeah, so uh, our main headquarters is in San Francisco. Uh, only about a third of the company is based in the Bay Area though. So about two thirds of the rest of the company are just sort of around the world. Virtual uh, we have workforce? Virtual workforce for the most part. Um, we do stand up a few sort of satellite offices. We have one in Boulder, uh, one in Nashville as well. Uh, we've got a lot of folks working in Berlin. Uh, we really kind of just want to follow where the people are. So that's uh, sort of the office strategy half. Um, there's about 240 GitHubers today. Uh, and, uh, oh, your last question is sort of users and, and repos, I think. Um, we've got seven million users that are using GitHub regularly right now. Uh, about 20 million people are coming to the website every month. Uh, and there's 17 million projects on GitHub today, uh, which is up from 10 million early this year. What made GitHub so big? I mean, I don't want to steal your thunder, but like, yeah, I mean, I'm one, we're one use case, but what's the general pattern? Yeah, you know, I think the most important thing about writing software is it's not an isolated experience, right? We want to work with other people, we want to share with what we're doing, and GitHub immediately was the place for that. It was it a place lonely. to... Sure, absolutely. And it's really empowering to know that this problem you're solving is interesting to somebody else. And it doesn't have to be a massively important project to notice that two or three other people caring about your solution is exciting to know that you suddenly have a community around that code. What's your perspective of GitHub outside of San Francisco in the Valley? And um, you know, I've been Palo Alto for 15 years, and yeah. 
you know, I tell my kids, don't live in a bubble because <laughs> now everyone's bussing people up and down the, the, the roads to Google and Facebook up in the city. You guys are in San Francisco, but you have two thirds of your workforce outside of the area. Yep. What's the perspective outside of the valley? With developers, the buzz, I mean, we're always on the bleeding edge in the Bay Area, uh, certain areas like New York too. Boston's kind of watered down a little bit, but getting better. Sure. What, what's the perspective? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I think when I started the GitHub, the most interesting thing to me was that probably only about a quarter of our traffic comes from the US. So right away you understand this is a pretty global market, right? Software development is everywhere. Yeah. Um, you know, some of our biggest customers are overseas. And so really understanding the perspective of those companies and, and how they come to buy products well, global, here. Global workforce is global follow the sun development to global Absolutely. Team, teams is a big thing. What's next in collaboration? So that's a big hot button right now. Certainly social, we're here at Amazon's infrastructure show, so obviously yep. they care about security. We just had a great conversation about perimeterless security, <laughs> which is you know, modern DevOps issue, which is you know, cutting edge. So, yeah. But I have a global workforce. What is the collaboration trend? I mean, I, I always joke with Dave Vellante, my co-host, couldn't be here. That's like playing Call of Duty. I mean, soon writing code will be like massively multiplayer games, you know. Yeah, and where is everybody, right? Yeah. I think, um, Where's you know, their armor? What do they have shipped lately? What's their right. index? <laughs> Who are they, yeah. What bugs have they killed? I mean, it's right. almost a metaphor of online, is online interactions. Do you see good things there in terms of new, new ideas? What things have you seen in a collaboration? Yeah, I think the most important part is just making all the data that's already happening just visible in different ways. So, you know, you can look at a, a, a profile page of an individual developer and understand what they've been working on. You can look at a particular project and see all the folks that have been working on that project. Uh, this, this release actually includes some really interesting features where we showcase all the security activity that's happening on a particular installation in a map. And so you can actually see that the, the interesting activity on this repository is actually happening in the countries in which you have a presence. All right, so what's the coolest thing have you seen here at Amazon reInvent? It's one day, your first year, first impressions. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I know you haven't really knock the floor around yet, but just vibe. I mean, this is a whole nother, I mean, Amazon is a disruptive company, but it's not a very political company internally. It's like a, yep. it's really a born in the, it is born, it born in the cloud, but it, it really speaks to this modern developer. Absolutely. But what's your, what's, share with the folks out there the vibe. Yeah, I think, you know, the, the biggest thing for us is, you know, we launched uh, this morning that we supported AWS, and we were talking to a lot of customers about coming here and saying, you know, we'll talk to you when we get there. What's amazing is everybody's here. Uh, you know, companies in every industry uh, are here. We've seen so many people just, just in the last few hours. Um, and if you look around, there are probably hundreds, if not a thousand companies here in this area right now that integrate with GitHub. Uh, that these services are coming out to support all the different aspects of delivering software at high quality at very fast speed. And uh, this is the place to, to learn all about it. I just retweeted Kate's tweet. Thanks for that photo. Um, <laughs> I love real time. Um, <laughs> what should people know about GitHub? Um, obviously you guys had some bad PR with some culture issues. Are we good with that now? Everything's clean and New York Times brought it up again today. What's going on with that? Yeah, you know, I think this release has been a, a big milestone for the company. We've had a great opportunity to all work together. This is a pretty big project. You know, uh, people across the entire company, whether it was finance, uh, our new HR team, which is, which is doing great, um, getting everybody involved in what could be the best release uh, ever of GitHub Enterprise. You know, I just got to say for the record, I've been really admirer of GitHub as a company, folks out there who have maybe heard about these guys. Um, there's a lot of amazing things. Your founders are obviously, when you start a founder company, it's always like, there's always a culture there. And then as you grow, you have growing pains, but you guys have really knocked it out of the park in terms of like how you build a company. You build it with value, you compete on value. Yep. You took funding after you guys have clearly made a lot of cash, yeah. um, which is good to get some investors in, took some money at the table really admire the founders and how they built that company. And I think you guys have a great product. It clearly shows, continuing the momentum. Thanks so much for coming on theCUBE and uh, best of continued success. Awesome, thanks so much. GitHub, really amazing company, helps developers uh, move in teams, write code, push it to the cloud, and really helps create value. And all the startups out there today that are you know, creating value and helping people's lives are, are using GitHub and uh, the cloud, so this is theCUBE. We love the cloud, we talk about the cloud. We're actually customers of GitHub, we use the cloud. <laughs> I'm John Furrier with SiliconANGLE. We'll be right back after this short break, live here in Las Vegas for Amazon reInvent. <laughs>